I have always heard from wrestlers that the whole time you're on the road, you know, you can't wait to get home. But then once you get home, all you can think about is getting back on the road. I mean, four yeah. months, four months is a long time. We were, were falling <sighs> up the walls by the end of it. Ready to get oh, back yeah. To oh, yeah. Plus, I'd had the pleasure of seeing that no good fat motherfucking Bill Watts. Yes. And he explained to me how my new contract was going to work which wasn't anything like the one that uh, Kip Fry and I came up with. See, that was the thing. Kip Fry had, had sit down with me and come up with a contract that would have left me set for life. Yeah. You know, it was a multi-million dollar contract. And uh, then when Watts got there, that was the end of that shit. And Watts told me that my new contract would be a thousand dollars a day. Yeah. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? He knew that I couldn't turn around and go back to the WWE. Right. So he just squeezed me. It's hard to hard to wrap your head around it, especially because he brings you in and he puts you in this really high profile position with the top star in the company. So obviously yeah. he sees value in you, but yeah. he just kind of knew he had you by the balls and took advantage. He wanted of it. he wanted me to come in and me just get beat flat out. What, like, how does that draw money with a guy? It doesn't. With, it with the, doesn't. But that's how equity. stupid fucking Watts is. Uh, so not only heard, that. He, he banned the snake. Yes. So that would be following Halloween Havoc, right? Yeah. And as soon as he did that, brother, I said, I'm out of here. So uh, when you when you heard that Watts had been hired to replace Fry, are you, like, immediately when you hear this, are you, are you concerned? Or are you oh, yeah. He'll honor yeah, it? I knew. I knew I was fucked. I know that you and Bill were never really friends by any means, but when you left Mid South in '86, was it pretty amicable, like end yeah, on a handshake? Of course. So, uh, why do you think he was had it out for you even these years well, later? Part of his deal with WCW was to break break these contracts up. Mm -hmm. Some of those contracts were unbelievable, man. Those those guys were getting fat. Yes. <laughs> They were getting fat, man, and uh, his contract had to do with how much money he saved WCW. Okay. Now, how does he get? How does he save money? Well, he gets you to renegotiate your contract for less money. Now, who's going to do that? Well, if you don't do it. What he would do is he'd threaten you with putting you on TV every week and getting beat by jobbers. <laughs> well, rumor has it that he tried to pull that shit with Brian Pillman, yeah. and and Pillman said, "Hey, I don't care. I'll be the highest paid job guy you've ever had." Yeah, and he he was. He just continued to get beat, and he was like, "No problem. Yeah, I'll put him over." Yeah. So yeah, it's but a guy in your position here, you are coming into this new company. It's I mean, you've got to just kind of take what they're giving you, and it's, it's yeah, man. man. I was stuck. I mean, when for, let's start here. Kip Fry and the contract that he offered, you said it was it was great. Um, is it like incentive laden? Is it just like a flat? Oh here's yeah, what you're making it's, every it's year? incentive laden. Oh man, I had my own nine hundred line. I had my own merchandise. I had everything, man. Wow. Now, do you know if the original, I know I'm asking you to reach back, whatever, 31 years. Do you know if Kip Fry, if the plan was, hey, we're going to bring you in as a heel, put you in with Sting? Yeah. Or, okay, so that was always the plan. Yeah. Okay, well, Bill stuck to that. He just kind of fucked with your money. Um, oh, boy, did he. You know, I've talked to, uh, before about how you felt uh, you were kind of out of options. You know, you left behind the WWF, and now here you are stuck with a contract that is not what you originally agreed upon. Uh, right. Was there was there ever a moment when you considered telling Bill to just fuck off and try your hand in Mexico or Japan or the Indies? We know you would a few years later, and you made good money. Yeah, uh, not at the time. Is it, is it just because of the national TV exposure, the guaranteed money as opposed to well, possible money? No, it was the fact that I wanted to work at home. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. 
It's uh, the fact that you, you know? get to drive back to your house after a taping. Right. Yeah, right. that's that's a big win.